So you have your own WordPress website and you like to add a PayPal button directly here into WordPress. I'm going to show you how to do this process in a very easy way. The first thing to do is to sign in directly here into WordPress. So make sure that we have the prerequisites already enabled, for example, a PayPal business account, a WordPress dashboard and a plugin or an HTML code for adding this button. So first of all, what I need to do is to have a PayPal business account. If I go directly here on the PayPal, I'm going to focus here into the right upper side and go for the account settings. Directly here at the account settings, I want to make sure that I have enabled the business account that is usually should be here and here into the account or the business information. So if you have a private account, you won't be having access here for the account type. Just change this for a business type and you're good to go. Now let's go back directly here into the home dashboard of the PayPal. And then let's create the PayPal button, right? So here, back directly here into PayPal once again before you can focus here into WordPress. Let's get started with the business tools. Here, I'm going to focus for the business tools here into the upper side. Now we have the recommended elements. So what I wanted to do is to scroll all the way down until you find the button of the PayPal. Or you can go for, for example, button. And here we have description, here's invoicing, API credential, dispute, point of sale, subscription, and much more. Let's try it out and look how for accept payments or show all. Accept payments. Here is the invoicing. Here's the request money. Here's the point of sale. If you don't find the bake PayPal button, you can open any tab. Make sure that you have your PayPal account open. So into a new tab, just type PayPal button. And here automatically we have this article of the created PayPal payment button. So this would automatically lead you directly here into the PayPal payment buttons. So we have the pay links and buttons. We have the buy now, uh, to cart, donate, subscribe, and smart subscribe. Let's try out with this option that says donate. So I choose this and we have the donate button. Start accepting donations with PayPal. So here is the donation. Here's the uh, amount of money that we have raised. We have the average donation. And into the upper side, this is the create a new donation page. For example, we can create an actual whole length of your donation element, or we can customize the button. Let's start with create an actual link. Now, here we have the donation page preview. This is the project name, for example, here. Let's say, for example, we have the Tech Express project. So here have the organization name. We can display your logo if you wanted to. And let's say, for example, save the project here. And we have the continue button, right? And now uh, we have the currency. How much do you want donors to give? We have any amount. Uh, give donors the option to increase their donation if you wanted to. Here's a recurrent donation, monthly, weekly, yearly, whatever. Let's say, for example, weekly. Let the donors choose a specific program. So we can go for continue. And we have now the pro list tab. Now we have the donation page created and ready to show. That means that we can show this with a QR code or with an actual link. Now here we have this donation button. So I can just copy and paste my button. And here is the donation of my website. Now, if I wanted to add this directly into my own website, I needed to uh, enable an HTML code. So let's say, for example, that once again, I'm going to try it out with a new element and even use a QR code. Let's go back. Here, let's go for customize a button. Now here into customize a button, here's the customize a button title. Use your own button style. Let's go for uh, large continue. Here is the displayed. Continue once more. Customize the donation. Something we have done so far and go for published. Now, instead of sharing this with an actual link, we have this section now that says get a button code. We have this entire code below. We can copy this to the clipboard and we add this now directly inside WordPress. So let's go directly here into WordPress. Let's go back here into our own page. Let's go for these pages. Let's say for example, we go for pages. Let's go for all the pages. And let's go for got it. We have the gallery about and edit. 
here to the about, I'm going to be adding a little bit more about myself. This is the as an example, of course. And down here, let's say that I'm going to be adding new and just type code. Inside code, I'm going to write the code, just paste the code that was generated with the actual paper. And if this one is not working, I can just delete it. And here into blocks, just type HTML. So we have now this custom HTML. So just paste your code, go for preview to make sure this one is looking great. And there we go. So we can now save this. I'm going to delete the recovery and check out how it actually looks. Convert to HTML. And there we go. So in my case, I think this one is now not going to work. I'm going to go for save. And really important to always preview before privilege to your uh, website. Let's go for view page. Here is the about element. Make sure that we have now published this before I check this out. And this one, it should be sending you directly in here. So there you have it. It's not that hard to do this process directly here into WordPress. So guys, with that being said, we can now reach into the very end of the video. So uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see how much the great tools you want to get started here with WordPress and people. Thank you once again, and see you next time.